Hey everyone, welcome back after the break. So now we have to start this about a section, kind of about a section. Let's move on to the editor and start working on it. Let me show you that. We have done this uh, with the slider and the navigation bar. I have found this mistake here and you know what? Let me check. Let me show you that. Let me see that I have, first of all, this is the icon and this icon is mm -hmm -hmm, brand and here let me give it a class color because i have used this and oh, no it's not working uh, so what i'm going to do you know nav bar or the class is navbar brand so only navbar so 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 just a minute i'll show you and here navbar the color of the bar um, navbar and then dot f a s i think it is f a s yep so now the color is and the color is white here so it is done this part the navigation bar and the hero image with this overlay um, text it is done now we have to work with the uh, we have to code for this about a section so let's move on to the browser oh, sorry editor and here we in our main page index.html and this part, let me remove all these extra spaces. This one, oops, not here. Mm, this should be. And now here, let's start creating the about us section. First of all, I would like to go with the comments about us and end of about us. Need some room to write this code. And I would like to go with the section element, assigning it a class. The class is going to be background one. Uh, no, actually, I have tried this background one class, but I'm not. I don't want this. So only section one, section. And then within this, let's go with the division. Assign it a class. And this time it is going to be container class. And then I want to go with the division, assigning it a class of raw align items center. And then division, assigning it a class of column large six and I just want to use it order here so order large two I'll explain you or you will understand it here so but I'll explain you the what's going uh, what is this for and then I want to have another division assigning it a class of padding five Then after, within this, let's have an image source and the image is going to be from images x1.jpg and then I want to go with a class of image fluid then rounded and rounded circle it's a bootstrap class circle rounded circle and all let me bring it here if you guys want to enter use the all you uh, you have to actually for good for seo i'm not using and then after this we have another division assigning a class of column 
large 6 and here the order is going to be LG1 mm, and again the, the division assigning it a class padding 5 and heading 2 assigning it a class and this class is going to be display four and who we are yep who we are and then after here paragraph and Lauren have some some 30 words okay not 20 30 words let me bring it here in the middle of the screen and this and this and this just to keep it visible within the screen okay and then after this paragraph i want to go with a button and the type of this is button uh, href then class for this is going to be a BDN icon and padding 2 and for this here I want to say no more and then I want to have use a font awesome icon class and that is this class is going to be FAS FA ice cream ice cream grow this grow class I'm going to use in CSS and that's all this is for the one section okay let me show you that this part is in two sections this is a one section and this is another section okay so what I'm I've done here I have just uh, done with the first section uh, who we are this text and the button we have to work with the on this button and the image now we have to uh, go with this second section and for that uh, I am going to write here again a section I'm going to have a section element for the second section and uh, sorry division assigning it a class and this time I want to go with the container class class and then container then another division assigning it a class and this time I just want to say raw align items these are the bootstrap classes items center and division assigning it a class of column large six then again division assigning it a class of padding five image um, source and the source of the image is going to be from images and I have used x3 image here and I'm going to go with a class and this class I want to see image fluid for the responsiveness is image fluid and the rounded circle to make a, make the image in a circle to keep it in a circle it's a bootstrap class I'm using and alt it's a good practice for SEO so we must go with this and then after I want to have another division assigning it a class column large uh, six not here Division 
class then padding 5 and then after I want to go with padding 2 and my class is going to be display 6 if you remember here I have mentioned display 4 and here the display is going to be 6 and then the title is going to be our specialty our specialty is p e z i e l t y our specialty and some text and what i'm going to do i just want to copy the same text and paste it there because it will take too much time to keep it within the screen by using the space key so let me have all the text here okay and then after i want to have a button so i just want to copy the same button copy and i just want to paste it here so done almost this is the section our specialty who we are and what i'm going to do now what i'm going to do now i have to uh, style the buttons so first of all let's go to the main.css and here in main.css let's have a comments first the comments are going to be um, about us section and then end of about us about us now within these comments I need a room to write my code okay what I'm going to do if you guys remember I did had a button icon class there so BD and icon so the display for this is going to be inline inline block vertical align middle and then transform perspective perspective transform perspective spelling mistakes yeah perspective is going to be one pixel and then translate Z will be zero and box shadow zero zero one pixel and RGBA zero 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 um, zero then I want to have a transition here transition duration so it is going to be 0.3 seconds butter none and then background is going to be pink and the text color I want it to be red let's save it let's see what's going on mm, not here here okay so we have the buttons now we have to uh, work on this icon because when I, when I hover over it I want it to uh, grow so how we make it we can let's use the BDN icon class BDN icon and then grow class if you remember I've told you that this grow class I'm using here BDN icon grow class and this is going to be here is going to be the transformation for this transform uh, translate Z 0 then transition duration transition duration I'm using my intelligence and 
it is going to be 0 0.3 seconds. Transition property. So, oh, hold on. Transition property. Transition property. So, for the transition property, it is going to be transform. So transition properties transform then transition timing uh, function transition timing function is out and the color no hold on so the color is going to be red now what what we have to do next is to call the BDN icon grow class and now we have to use the hover uh, over it so first of all I'm stuck here BDN icon hover and then I want to go with the grow class and again the BDN BDN icon focus and then grow focus is for the smaller screens and then BDN icon active again grow this time let's see transform scale 1.3 and then translate z0 okay let's save it let's move on to the browser okay so when i hover over it you guys can notice that the icon grows a little okay so let's see let's check it to, uh, on the responsive breakpoint so you guys can see it's a focus okay so when I click on it the icon grows a bit hope you guys understand this section so it's it, it was like uh, it was like an ice cream the second section okay now let's move on and start creating this section the flavor section the card this background image and the curls the button effect so let's move on and start working on this flavor section here and what's next after flavor okay it's it is not going to take much time let's move on let me remove all these extra spaces from here um, from here too yep I do have an extra spaces I'm sorry for my neighbor's dog okay here we go now the flavor section for the flavor section let's have a comments first so let me name it flavor flavor section end of flavor section and flavor section and then within these lines of commands we should have a code so the section is going to be going to have a class and this class is going to be a flavor class padding top and bottom is going to be 5 id is flavor division class container And now I want to have a section title so just go with the title 
and then end of title so within these lines let's write a code for a title I want to go with the duration assigning it a class raw margin bottom 5 have another division assigning it a class column and display flex and then flex wrap text upper case justify mm, justify content center let me bring it here so it would be easier for you to see okay heading one assigning it a class and this time it is going to be font weight bold no font weight bold align align self center margin from left and right is going to be one here the title and the title is our flavors and that's and that's all so we have done with the title now we have to go with the uh, with another division so what we are going to do after this uh, let me remove it from here actually let's save it so let's see what's going on in the browser so it would be easier for us to understand okay so we have a fully words uh, title here now after this, I want to go with a card section. And for the card section, first of all, let me write I have a comments here. So cards. And the first thing is division. It is too much in the corner and here also. Okay. Division assigning it a class and the class is raw okay then after let's have a card one and end of card one so within these lines let's write a code here within these lines so the first code is going to be a division assigning it a class column 10 and margin from left and right is going to be auto margin top and bottom 3 and then column medium 6 and then column large four duration assigning it a class and card definitely we are flavor and you know what it's a mistake I don't have to use hyphen here so the card is another class bootstrap class and I'm going to use a flavor card class in CSS and then I want to use this curl class there to use that curl or the page folding kind of a page uh, page curl actually the card curl sorry the card curl and image source is going to be images and the first image I'm going to use is menu 2 do you have a class here? 
card image top and then I want to use this ice cream class here uh, for my CSS and then for show alt and that's all now we have to go with the card body so let's see card body the card body for this I just want to go with the division assigning it a class and this class is going to be card card body and then the division assigning it a class and this is going to be card info and display flex um, justify content between justify content between and then division assigning it a class card text and then text up for case and let me have some let me bring it in the middle of the screen okay I know what I've done here it's uppercase not not this uppercase and it's a card text not a card text card text and card text and text uppercase and then here it is going to be heading six the class of this heading six is, uh, six is going to be font and the font width should be bold with some dummy text lorem ipsum then after uh, you know what let me change it it should be heading five And this should be heading six. So I'm just going to have a sugar, sugar free. Okay, and then after here, let's have a heading five again, assigning it a class. And this time the class is currency. Align self center padding top and bottom is going to be two, then padding left and right is going to be three, and dollar sign, and then, then after this dollar sign, I want to go with the span element and assigning it a class, and the class is going to be price. And the price is going to be $25, not $20, $25. And that's all. Okay, now let's copy it. So I'm going to get it from here. And end of card one. So I just want to copy it. Two, three, four five six let's save it let's see what's going on in the browser okay so we have copied it successfully for the six times now we just want to change the images for that let's go back and let me check the images here um this one and this one okay i really don't remember the name of these images so let's see what are these images numbers or let me check in my images folder menu 2 menu 4 and menu 6 let me check what is menu 1 which one is okay not this one um this one is done so i have to go with menu 4 and 6 
Okay, so the first one is with the two, the second one is going to be menu four, and then this one, the third one is going to be menu six. See, wait, let's check. Yep, two, four, six, and now it is. How interesting. No, not this one. Okay. I was just thinking I, I was just thinking that something happens. It's kind of machine learning. Oh so so this is what we have done and now we have to do with these three images. And for this it is going to be again this should be four four six and two the last one let's see yep so we do have the images and the, the card is almost done here now we have to go to the main the main dot css and to start working on the style of this section first of all i want to have a flavor section comment here and then end of flavor section uh, here in these lines let me bring it here in the middle of the screen okay let's start writing the code for our section so first of all let's go with the id flavor heading one and the color for this is going to be white. I want to get the flavor class. So flavor class is here. The background. I just want to have a background in URL and images. And here the image is menu one. Okay. Let's save it. Let me show. Wow, what happened to my browser? So you guys can see that the background image, the card. Okay. Now we use that curl and the curl hover effect and the button effect. Okay. For that, it's not finished here. Uh, we have to set some border radius for the card cards and for that let me have a flavor flavor card class here I just want to say border mm, border re, re, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry border radius and border radius is going to be zero I want to give it a flag of important to override this so important and let's save it let me have a glass of water let's save it move on to the browser okay so there is a bit radius mm. the radius is like um, let me show you hold on if I do not use this important flag, what, what happened? You know, there is a, the corners, you just check the corners. Okay, so when I use this important flag, you know what? Now you can see the, that there isn't any kind of radius. The corners are like, there are sharp edges. So this is what the important flag has done for us. Now we have to start styling the curl class. So it's URL curl and let's display it in line block vertical vertical align mirror 
middle and the transform uh, transform is going to be perspective one pixel and then translate z could be zero box not box mm, box shadow zero zero one pixel rgba and zero 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 it's four zero sorry okay and then i want to go with the position so position relative and let me bring it here I scroll down the screen then after um, after the position let's have a curl before class so curl pseudo class before and pointer event pointer event is going to be none so it's event pointer event is going to be none and position absolute position no relative absolute and the content is going to be nothing height h e i g h t height is going to be zero weight should be zero in the top or this is going to be zero left is also going to be zero background right background linear oh, linear gradient so linear gradient and here what I'm going to do I'm going to use some 135 degrees and then I want to have a color F A C two C two F A C two C two and then forty five percent oops forty five percent and then again I want to go with F zero C six C six fifty percent then I want to go with another color and this could be F7B2B F7B2B 56% oops and then I want to go with F7 F7A 2A 2A not 3A 2A 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 2 not 2A sorry 2A 2A and then it would be 80% and that's all you know what I want to do here let me bring this linear gradient here so could be easier let's see uh, not working not going to work now need to use a hover effect okay and then after i want to have some just a minute please uh, some z index of 1000 and then box box shadow one pixel one pixel and an RGBA zero 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 and zero point four and I want to go with the transition sorry transition duration zero point three seconds and then transition 
transition property. Transition property is going to be the width and the height. Okay. And now what we are going to do next, you know. I was just uh, here. We have to go with. Let me close this one. And uh, here we have to go with the curl hover. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I apologize for this mistake. Okay, so curl, curl, and hover. Sorry, again, a pseudo class before. And then I want to go in another curl, focus, and before, before, and then next class is going to be curl, active class, and before, and then we are going to go with the width of 40 pixel. And HDI GHD height is also going to be 40 pixels. And let me bring it here. Let's have a ice cream class. Cream ice cream class. Butter butter top. Butter top left radius. And it's going to be zero and then butter top right radius is going to be zero again let's save it let's see if we have done it successfully or no oh yes we have so when i hover over it you guys can see that the curl effect appears so okay so now we have to work with this um button this link actually it was a link so let's have a currency class here and use a display in line block and unblock and then vertical align middle transform property not transition I'm sorry, it is not going to be transform and the value for this is going to be perspective one pixel uh, translate the and zero box shadow is going to be zero zero one pixel RGBA zero zero and zero and zero position for position is going to be relative overflow hidden over overflow hidden background is going to be D one two zero two zero transition property is going to be let me use my intelligence in transition property it is going to be color and then transition duration is going to be zero point point three seconds okay uh, let me bring it here and then let's have a currency before and the content is going to be nothing position absolute position absolute Z index one uh, minus one sorry Z index minus one 
and the top of this is going to be 0, left is going to be 0, oops, the right is also going to be 0, bottom 0, background is going to be FE. FAC to C and then border radius border ra radius is going to be 100% and the next thing is transform um, okay transform and then I have to use scale and the scale is going to be 2 Transition property, transition, uh, transition property. So the transition property here is, is going to be transform, then transition duration, and transition duration is going to be 0.3 seconds, and then transition timing function. So this would be mm, ease out and here let me have um, currency, currency hover and then currency focus. and currency active pseudo class color is going to be white and the code of color code okay color is going to be white then we have to move on oh another currency hover before and then currency focus before and then currency active before and what I'm going to do is using a transform transform scale and the scale is going to be zero at this point Let's save it. Let's move on to the browser and see that what we have done so far. Wow, what is this? I really don't know. Oh, I mistook somewhere. Look, everything is, it's just messy. What I've done? Yeah, the radial effect of the button, it is too much. I I'm, I'm mistook somewhere, but it's looking interesting and funny also. Uh, what is this? I, I didn't I was not expecting this I made a mistake somewhere I'm sure I mistook somewhere let's go back and let's see where, where the mistake has been done what I have done I, I'm, I was shocked to see that so this is 0 0.6 I'm, not, I, I'm sure it's not going to so this problem occurs from my currency section if I'm not wrong because yes C U W R E N C Y my wonderful spellings yep the just because of a spelling whole of my code oh my gosh I didn't know about it okay so it's okay it's looking nice but when I hover over it you guys can see the radial effect over the button and at the same time the curl okay same so this is what we have done so far and let's let's check the responsiveness of this section okay hold on 
this uh, the currency title it is is too much it's it's bigger than the actual size actually um, it has to be within the paragraph element so you guys just said it yourself okay I, I don't like it in this way you can arrange it or let's do this what do you think okay let's complete it and later in at the end we will see this one but overall it is almost done almost done okay so we have done with the slider with about a section the flavor section nice effect with the radial re and the curl now the next section is these happy clients so let's move on and start creating this client or testimonial section here in our editor main page index.html let's move here and let me remove all these extra pieces and from this side also let me re remove it from here here okay and then let me remove it also this one too and okay and from now what we are going to do we have to create a section first of all the comments let's go with the comments and client section and then here I should say end of client section and in the client section in this part we are going to create the client section I'm going to go with the section element uh, I want to have an ID ID of uh, clients and then I want to have a class here too the class is going to be margin from x-axis or left and right is going to be auto and then I want to go with the division assigning it a class and the class is going to be container The next thing, thing is division, again assigning it a class, raw, and division assigning it a class, and the class is going to be column, medium 12, heading 3, class, and this time the class is going to be client, title client title mm, client title and the title is going to be happy clients and then after I want to go with a division signing not div div assigning it a class this time my class is going to be uh, the class is going to be divider so divider and then after this divider I just want to have a paragraph assigning it a class calling it client um, description and there should be a text the text is going to be lorem ipsum 15 words okay then after let's have a division again assigning it a class of pick or picture and then we are going to go with img image source the source is going to be images
and images uh, in my images folder I do have an image IMGSRC and images folder and there is an image of emoji emoji dot emoji one dot png and it is green there, there should be alt text and then after this let's have a heading four again with some dummy text so lorem ipsum lorem ipsum and after this um sorry let me bring it here actually this should be the title of the client uh, sorry the name of the client and here should be the title of the client and span I'm just going with X Y and Z and again X Y and Z X Y Z X Y Z and that's all you know I mistook somewhere I don't know where is, where is the mistake I have made there should be let me go oh, check my code again um, because I think that I have made a mistake so it's a section and a client and max auto and then container then raw and this column and this column have a title heading and then this heading after this it has a divider paragraph element and then paragraph element okay so then again we do have a yeah I made a mistake here that after 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 this um, this paragraph there should be a raw actually division let me assign a class this is going to be a raw and we'll fix this just a moment and then after there should be another division assigning it a class and this class is going to be a column medium three and then after this so it's not a mistake it's a blunder I just missed too much code from my writing I, I don't know how I've done this but it's okay we have to learn from the mistakes we have made especially in the coding and that's all and then after and uh, there should be a profile and then the image image is going to be off here and then they should have heading four and a span element and then I do need to um, this one to after this is parallel map there should be a wait a minute okay so this is done until now now we have to do something else and that is again I have to go with a division assigning it a class and column medium 9 and then division class and this time I'm going to do a code class and I have to use a fun awesome icon class here so class is going to be F A F F A Q U O T E code uh, code left oops code left and it is two times bigger than its actual size okay 
and there should be a dummy text of 25 words okay let me bring it here and here and that's all and then after this dummy text I should go with another uh, font awesome icon class and that is I class and this class is going to be F A S F A code right because over there we have a left and here it should be R I G H T right and then it should be twice then its actual size so be two X okay so there should be yeah and then after after this I have to go with another division assigning it a class this time the class is going to be raw and a division assigning it to class and yep look what I've done here so remove it from here bring it here okay and this class this time I, I just want to go with the column medium 9 and division class is going to be code for awesome icon class VSFA code left and and then here let me copy and paste the whole paragraph from this side. It should be here. And then after it is going to be I class. Oops, F A S F A code right F A two. And then after, let's have a division, assigning the class, and this class is going to give us a, you know, I made mean, too many mistakes here. Um, let me check. Okay. So the class is going to be column medium three and then division assigning it a class profile and then again division assigning it to class of pick and image source and the source is going to be images and this time the image I do have is nm.png alt text and then after this oh, sorry okay here heading 4 is going to be lorem epsilon film and then the span element and again XYZ 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 
so you know what there is one div which is left and if I go here let's go to the browser and see not this one this is what we are working on wow so you know how big the images we have and we need to work let's go to the style sheet main.css and here in our main.css down below let's remove these extra spaces let's have a comment for the uh, client section and then end of clients section what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the ID client and then I want to go with a padding padding is going to be 80 pixels 0 and top and bottom left and right and then I want to go with a profile class and the profile class is going to be text align my mistake text what I'm going to do here and uh, text align text align is going to be center then profile pick and border is going to be border radius is going to be 50 percent and then border is going to be six pixel solid and then cf0303 margin margin bottom 15 pixel overflow overflow is going to be hidden height 260 pixels and the width is also wdith width is also going to be 260 pixels let's save it let's see what's going on okay so we have to work we need to work and then after here 260 pixel and then we have to go with profile pick image so profile or uh, let's go with just pick and uh, pick image pick img and it is going to be the max width for this is 100% and let's save it let's see yeah now it's looking better okay so here again let's have the profile heading 4 profile heading 4 uh, so here the font weight the font weight is going to be bold and the color for this is going to be 08 color is going to be for this and then margin bottom margin bottom is going to be five pixel and then let's save it let's see what's what's going on yeah it's looking better we, we need to work we are yeah. and here again profile four and then we have to work with the profile span element so for that profile 
profiles pen and a color for this let's go with the black one okay uh, hold on let me check the color I have used here white okay we will change it later not white black mm, let me check actually I'm confused here so yeah the black is okay and then I want to go with the coat coat is going to be coat class and a position Going to be relative background is going to be this red padding would be 60 pixels margin top oops margin top it's going to be 40 pixels font um, font size 16 pixels font style italic border radius 5 pixels and then color is going to be white let's see okay so it is done we have done with the client section let's see check the responsiveness of this this section so okay this is what we have done and this is the client section oh no no not this one sorry here <laughs> okay So it is done from my side. Do you think it's done? Okay, the last section. So this reservation section, uh, kind of a uh, uh, kind of a footer. Okay. So let's go and complete this one, and then after our project is going to be finished. For this, let's go to the browser. Sorry, editor. And let me remove all these extra spaces from here. Let me have a glass of water. Okay, so in this section, uh, this is the last section but I don't think that we need to use the comments let's go uh, reservation and no need to write end of reservation this is the last section we are going to work on so for this reservation section Okay, so before moving on, before going to the uh, table or reservation section, this um, res reservation section, I have found a mistake here. Um, this happy client, it has to be here in a class. Let's go with margin top five. Let's save it. And yep, now it's looking better. So now move on and let's start working on our reservation section so here let's, let's go with the section element 
and the section element would have an ID of resolution, then a class of padding top and bottom is going to be 5, division assigning it a class of container, then another division assigning it a class of raw, another division assign it a class of column extra large 5 let's go with another division not of division assigning it a class of mm, section title so section title then heading 2 and um, book book uh, table or well, let's say reserve a table or reservation reservation reservations and then after Let's have another division, assigning it a class, raw, and division, assigning it a class of column large 6, division, assign it a class of a reservation form and let's start creating a form oops 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 my mistakes let me bring it here in the middle of the screen let's save it and let's see what's going on in the browser first okay so reservation is here Reservations and now we have to go with the form for so for the form Let's have a division here Assigning it a class of form Raw Then division assigning it a class form group Column medium six input type email and have a class form control and you know what? Let me break it into part ID. Uh, ID is going to be input I email input email then there should be a placeholder and the placeholder for this would be a name now it's Tarix. and this should be okay Then let's have another division assigning it a class form group form form group and then column medium six input input type this input type is going to be the password and then class form form control let's have an id input password input password input password 
and there should be a placeholder so a place placeholder and this placeholder is going to be email address and there should be these stars so they are looking good when I'm going to use them and then here again let's have another division assigning it a class and this time the class is again going to be form group from form group control oops form group control uh, not control sorry form group and this time it's going to be column medium six and then select class of form control id the id is going to be select and here in this area what we are going to do we are going to use the option element option value option value oops value option value is going to be one and then we are going to say selected here is going to be persons Then there should be another option value value two and this time it is also it is going to be um, number of number of guests what I'm doing here number of guests one and let me copy this and so this should be three four and five the number of guests are going to be changed so this should be two three and four okay then after we have to go with the division assigning it a class and the class is going to be form group Column medium six input type. This time, input type is going to be text, and the class for this is going to be form control form control uh, ID ID is going to be. Form. and then the place holder it is going to be phone number and at the division assigning it a class form group Column medium six any division assigning it a class form medium six hold on I was just form group column medium six and then group input yeah, input group 
import group date I want to go with import ID and the ID is going to be date picker so the date picker and for this I want to use a type the type is going to be text and then the class for this the class for this is going to be form control uh, form control and you know what let me break it into parts and uh, here let's go with the place placeholder and the placeholder is going to be date mm. okay let's see what's going on in the browser there are many things we have to do okay so the form or form is almost done persons we can see and we have to do some other things then after this date let's be let's check the next thing and the next thing if f this let's have a division assigning it a class this time it's going to be form group and column medium six and then select class form control ID is going to be select to um, select to Now let's go with some options. Option value, option value one. Uh, here the value is not going to be different, but I just want to say selected. And this time the selected is going to be time. Oops, T T T T I M E time and yep time and then after let's use some option values here after this let's have an uh, option value option value one let it let's keep it in the inverted commas and um, then it should be 8 a oops 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. or uh, not it uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And what I'm going to just copy and paste it for oops, a couple of times. I should okay. Some several times I was just thinking about a couple of times, but then it would be too uh, too little. Uh, I'm not going to change that time. It is just to give you an idea that how it works. Yeah, as you guys already have seen this, but it's just a part of this last section so division class form group column medium 2 sorry 12 and here we are going to use the text area so text area and the class is going to be form control uh, ID ID is going to be text area and the rows I want to go with four rows not total four rows and the placeholder for this place 
complete hulu and this would be your message and text area is closed then the last in the last let me let me show you something and we can move let me check the okay so date time phone number okay so it's working and the message area is here so here we have to go with the button and for that division assigning it a class submit button okay so this should be resolution res bdn resolution button and here i want to go with href and this href is hold on please okay and then is this href is going to have a class class is going to be bdn bdn reserve i'm going to use this bdn reserve class in my css and here we say reserve reservation of book a table let's save it let's move on to the browser and let's see what's going on so we have the link here we are now we have to style it okay in our main dot css the last section we are working on and it starts styling this section so we will finish this project and here it is reservation the id we have used oops not these brackets it has to be parentheses um back background is going to be the there should be a background image and it should be a url url is going to get the image from images and i do have a footer image now i want to position it so for that let me see background position it is center then background repeat uh, it is going to be no repeat then background size um, has to be cover let's see even let me show you what's going on wow okay so this is what we have done so far this is a background and, and let me check where is okay we need to set it so right now it is just uh, the, the background image the table section oh yeah i have to work okay so the cover is um, we have done until the background size and which is cover now let's move on and let's start working with the reservation reservation id and then we have to go with section section title heading to the color of this is going to be black then let's use a reservation form input reservation form input and color is going to be black I say that it should be 
let's give it the flag of important. Okay. Now let's use the reservation form form control. So for this dot form control class form control actually and the background color for this oops the background color I just want to go with transparent and color is going to be okay and let's see it is important flag of important to override um, okay you guys can't see the um, see much difference but just a uh, moment then it will be shown to you transparent um, background color is going to be transparent transparent and then color and now I want to go with the border so the border is going to be zero pixels solid transparent and this is going to be okay from control uh, and then after let's go with the border bottom two pixels solid and Water radius zero pixel padding is going to be six six pixel and zero pixels font size is going to be 14 pixels margin bottom 15 pixels padding bottom 15 pixels height is going to be 40 pixels okay so things are working but not as we want them you know what let me let me add something here this should be resolution form and form control class so it's not going to affect here let's let's see okay and then the next thing is reservation from text area so resolution form and then we have to go with the text area and then again we have to go with the form control class so the form control class Let's get the height of this is going to be 100 pixels and let's give it a flag of important and then we have to go with the border border bottom one pixel solid and reservation and 
Beatty and Resolution BDN. Oops, hold on, just forgot my class. RES BDN. So, RES BDN resolution button and the margin is going to be uh, margin top actually. Margin top is going to be 8 pixels. And then margin margin left is going to be five pixels and then let's get the BD, BDN reserve uh, class and BDN reserve let me bring it here in the middle of the screen okay BDN reserve is going to be Oh my gosh. Okay. So BDN reserve is going to be the font size. Font size of this is going to be 16 pixels. Letter spacing. Letter spacing is going to be 1 pixel. Display inline block. Padding. 12 pixel then 32 pixels and border radius border radius is going to be 4 pixel transition transition is going to be 0 0.5 seconds line height would be 1 Margin is going to be 10 pixels. Color, I just want to go with black. Animation, animation delay. 0 0.8 seconds. Then we have to go with the butter. 2 pixel solid. And it's going to be black oh not black okay and text decoration text decoration is none and here I don't think that there is text decoration let's check oh uh, yeah it's not here so we have to change it you know what hold on it takes too much time yeah so we have to remove this uh, from here and I'll show you something else mm -hmm. two pixels this and now I want to go with BDN reserve hover effect and background is going to be CF0303 and then color of the text is going to be white and then the text decoration here we go with none let's save it Okay, you guys have noticed that there is some problem within my browser and you know the, the, the form is done but the form is same like this but because of the problem within my browser it is not showing me the way it is okay and there is some problem in this section let's go and check mm, let's see where Padding with five. See margin top also. Five. Let's see it. Yeah, now it's okay. So the margin top is going to be five from that side. Now it is not too much uh, attached with this um, client section. So 
I hope that you guys like this. Everything is working well. It's nice, except these um, this this form. The problem is in the form of these these lines are not visible here. Something happened in my browser. I think kind of uh, overriding problem. I'll solve it for the next time. And if you guys need the code, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Let's overview this project once again. Let's check that what we have done. So we have done with the navigation bar, a logo, the slider, and with this overlay text button. Uh, let me show you here. The button is more, much more visible than before. About a section with the grow, growing icons and the flavor section, which has a curve. Um, on the left of the card and the radial effect of the link or to the button or a link whatever you want to call it so then we have a client section and the last one is the reservations section I hope that you guys like this let's check the responsiveness of this and I should say you bye bye must practice this if you guys like this let me know in the comments below too and again code i'll provide you if you need it okay hope you guys like this don't forget to subscribe the channel and wait for the next project i'll see you in the next one hasta la vista and ciao ciao